electric car sales have suddenly gone down enormously in Germany over the first quarter of this year. A lot of people are just publishing this news and saying, you know, EV sales have more plummeted in the first quarter of this year. This is proving the media were right. Well, there's a bit more to this story. I mean, why have these EV sales gone down? There is, in fact, a reason. It's not just that customers are saying, we don't want an electric car. Hello, my friends. Welcome to the channel. I'm Sam Evans. You're watching The Electric Viking. It's great to see you. EV sales declined by 14.1% in Germany in the first quarter of this year. Tesla sales fell even more than that. Now, it is true that Tesla did have their Gigafactory in Germany uh, disrupted for several weeks because um, one of these so-called environmental protesters went and uh, smashed up the power lines. So it meant that Tesla and other businesses in the area had no power until that was all fixed. However, Germans purchased a total of 695,000 new vehicles in the first quarter of 2024. That marked a 4.2% increase compared to the same period in the previous year. But sales of electric vehicles experienced a decline of 14.1% in Q1 over last year, dropping from 94,736 to 81,337. Even though that sounds bad, it's actually a pretty good result when you consider what has actually happened. The industry has been grappling with some pretty serious challenges. Since the German government completely discontinued any kind of EV incentives whatsoever, there's no tax incentives, there's no EV incentives for EVs in December. This contributed significantly to this decline in sales. In addition to that, the Volkswagen Group, who obviously own half of the brands in the world, not really, but they own a lot of brands, they are the biggest car selling group by far in Europe. And they decided not to focus on EVs so much because they're losing money on every electric car they sell. So Volkswagen Group's EV sales in Germany went down pretty significantly. In fact, Volkswagen sales went down significantly as well. The decline in EV sales in the market was particularly pronounced among European automakers as reported by data from the KBA. Germany's Federal Motor Transport Authority said Citroen, Jaguar, Polestar, and Volkswagen all saw a 30% reduction in EV sales in the first quarter of the year compared to the previous year. Porsche, Peugeot, Mini, Fiat, and DS experienced even bigger contractions with reductions exceeding 40%. Europeans weren't the only ones to feel this um, challenge though. Tesla sold the most EVs in the first quarter, but that was still only 13,000. This represented a decline of 36.7% from the 20,700 that Tesla sold in the first quarter of 2023. The first three months of 2024 didn't spell disaster though for all EV manufacturers. BMW's EV sales actually blew up. They grew by 84%. Now, admittedly, that's from a, a smaller base, but still, BMW sold 8,000 electric cars. That's pretty good compared to the previous year. Kia experienced a remarkable increase of 106%, but coming from a low base, still a good result with 2,825 vehicles sold. Not so great as BMW, their growth was 5.8%. Transport Minister Volker Wissing, who has objected to environmental measures in the past and is accused by his opponents of being responsible for the decline in EV sales in Germany has threatened to introduce weekend driving bans unless the environmental regulations can be eased. So there's environmental regulations in Germany. Those regulations are not being met because oh, so many people are buying internal combustion powered vehicles. And so emissions are actually getting worse in Germany. And that's in spite of the fact that Germany is moving away from fossil fuels in terms of its power generation. The German grid is significantly greener. In fact, it's hitting around 60% renewable energy this year, most of that being solar. But unfortunately, because now that a complete decline of incentives has kind of made people feel like, well, hang on a minute, um, I feel like I'm getting hard done by. I'm paying way more than what my neighbor did. Um, surely the German government will bring back these incentives. That's what I think a lot of people feel like. They feel like, well, hang on a minute, you know, this should happen. And it's kind of evidenced by the fact that the highest growing EV sales manufacturer in Germany is BMW. And people pay luxury prices for BMWs. Uh, most of the EVs being sold in Germany 
are luxury vehicles. So these people who are buying these luxury EVs don't care so much about EV incentives. I think Germany should bring them back. I think uh, we should support, the Germany should support electrification. But Germany, well, they don't really think that way. And the reason is this. German automakers are not making profit selling EVs. They want to slow down the disruption. They want to slow down the transition away from fossil fuels to EVs because, well, they need to make as much money as they can for as long as they can. German manufacturers know they can't contend with Chinese manufacturers. They can't contend in terms of when it comes to um, overseas markets. They don't make EVs at a price that they can sell them at a profit for or outside of China, to be honest. That's a big issue for them. And that's the key reason, in my opinion, why subsidies were revoked. I mean, you might think differently. Let me know in the comments. But I think that's the key reason why they were. I think Germany really wants to slow this down because thousands of jobs have already been lost in Germany to the Chinese electrification. And this is coming from automakers. The Volkswagen Group has fired thousands of people and it's hired thousands in China, invested billions and billions of dollars in China over the last six months. So has Audi, so has BMW, and so has Mercedes. Thanks for watching.